Hey, it's Mark Shepard, Cowabunga.com, and today I'm going to do a book report, just like back in uh, middle school. Hi, class. I have just read this book by Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell. David and Goliath. <laughs> so I was reading this book, actually, over the, the weekend, and uh, Malcolm Gladwell, as usual, made some tremendously powerful points. One of the things that he, really the essence of the book, is that in any situation, the David, the person with the, uh, with the handicap, the disadvantage, fewer resources, fewer power, uh, less power, less strength, um, the David in any situation has a much greater chance of success than the popular opinion would, would admit. So the point is that David came down in the Valley of Elah and faced Goliath. Now David was a shepherd boy, he was small, Goliath was a giant, he had all this armor, he had these big weapons. All David had was a slingshot. And essentially, it seemed like David was at a disadvantage, but the reality was Goliath was at the disadvantage. It's like, you know, a large country like the United States versus a terrorist. Um, there are certain advantages that the terrorist, the guerrilla uh, warfare tactics have against the big the big army and that's in, in fact even in Star Wars the Ewoks uh, one of the things George Lucas was trying to point out kind of in alignment with with his thoughts was that you know it was low tech low tech warriorship that brought down the high tech empire and so really that's good news for those of us who are who are looking to become successful those of us who are really going all cowabunga on ourselves, you know, and that's really the idea behind cowabunga.com is to take what you think are disadvantages and to find ways to turn them into strengths, into power, personal power, personal mastery. And so I highly recommend this book, David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. I don't know if you can read that there. And uh, if I'm if I remember, I'll put a link below this video so you can just go straight to Amazon and get it. Um, I highly recommend all his books because the thing is, you really are a David because you're just one person in your own little life, right? And if you're watching this, if you've been paying any attention to Kawabunga.com at all, you're a very special person. You're someone who is willing to learn, someone who's willing to try new things, someone who's willing to learn something and put it into action. That's really what I'm looking for, is other people like myself who are like, I don't just read a book, like I, I read it and then reread it and I put it into action in my life as best I can. And then I evaluate, did it work? Did that help? Did that new way of thinking help me? And what I'm finding is yes, these new ways of thinking are tremendously powerful and helpful. But it's not just ways of thinking, it's also what are you putting in your mouth? And in my next video, I'm gonna talk about something that's so simple and so profound for your overall health that I think you're gonna to wanna to watch the next video as well. So check it out, David and Goliath. Look around in your life and notice how often the David actually has the advantage. Let's popped into my mind, Apple computer. They were David, you know, to IBM's Goliath. And the danger is as your David instincts, your, your small guerrilla tactics bring you success, the danger is that you become the next Goliath. And you, you wanna make sure you stay in that flexible mode of thinking. The most flexible communicator controls the communication. The most flexible thinker controls the outcome of their own life. So that's it for today. Short message, Kawabunga. Read books, people. Read anything by Malcolm Gladwell. It will open your mind 
to what's really going on in the world versus what we think is going on. And I think that's a profound attitude to take. So, cowabunga.com, have a great day. Mark Shepard, over and out for now.